Hello, my sewing friends. I've been thrifting. I'm Jen, and this is my sewing room where space is quickly disappearing, and probably I didn't need to be buying anything, but you know, I was checking out some thrift stores because I wanted to, you know, kind of scope them out for when my girlfriends, my sewing sisters come and we all go thrifting together. So, uh, of course I found things and I thought, oh, yeah, I was looking for some things specifically. And so I'll start with those. Let's just get into these two bags. Uh, this one's uh, kind of a big bag and this is, from, <laughs> this one was from the Salvation Army. I recently put curtains up on my lanai and they had to be really long because uh, I have to hang them from the ceiling because um, in Florida, all of the houses, uh, the foundation framing is done with cinder blocks. So if you're going to put anything into the wall on an outside wall or outside or on the porch, the lanai, you've got to drill into concrete or cement. And I didn't want to do that. So uh, everything has to be hung from the ceiling. And the only curtains I could find that would be long enough were from Ikea. But I thought, well, I could always get other curtains and add a border onto the bottom of them. Well, the ones from Ikea are netting. And so they're very ethereal, very dreamy. And I thought, you know, it'd be nice to uh, kind of anchor them with a few panels that were either a solid opaque white, because they're white, or um, maybe a sheer white, but more sheer than the netting. So anyway, that's why I bought these. And I got, uh, these are just sheer curtain panels. One, two, three. Yeah, three of those. And, oh no, four. <laughs> and they were fairly inexpensive. So got those. And then I came across some sheets. And I think, yeah, Salvation Army, they had fabric. They had fabric hanging there. Now this one I'll get to in a minute. But I found sheets and I found actual fabric. A lot of it was home deck, so it's not the kind of stuff that you would want, but yeah. This is, a, let me see, I think it's a twin, no, it's a full fitted sheet. This fabric, this print looks a lot like a round tablecloth that I got to make a circle skirt for daughter four, Jenna, with the colorful hair. And uh, daughter five, Michaela, loved that skirt, wanted that skirt, said, please, can I have that skirt? And I said, no, it was for Jenna. So I saw this print and it was, it's a lot like that skirt was. So uh, I think it's very 1980s, but it's just so pretty. So I knew she would love this and I can make a circle skirt for her. So that's that one. This print spoke to me. I've talked recently about how I love a ditzy print. This is that idea. It's an off-white, kind of a cream, almost, it's got kind of a green tint to it, but I think that's because of all the leaves. And I don't know what the flower is. I don't know. It looks kind of like a thistle, to be honest. I don't know but I loved the colors. So gorgeous. So this is a fitted sheet. This one's a little more faded, but still that beautiful little yeah, that print that I love. Recently, I showed you some fabric that I have that I've had for, and you know, a hundred years. And I found these, these are, I think they're placemats but they're that Waverly Sweet Violet print. And I thought, well, I've already got the fabric, so maybe I should just get those. They were 49 cents each, so I thought, yeah, I think I will. So got a couple of those. This is fabric, it was 99 cents. And I don't know, I haven't measured the yardage of any of these fabrics, but this is a denim and it's like a ticking stripe denim. So uh, I don't know if it's black or navy, I think it's black. So it was 99 cents, like I told you. Um, and there's probably not that much here and it's scraps. Let's see, what is that about? Maybe a yard and a little bit. So maybe enough for uh, like a jean skirt for somebody. I don't know who, but we'll see. 
Uh, this is just a cotton, just a cotton calico. It's printed, so it's not woven like that is, but um, it's kind of a off-white cream. This is more like a beige and rose. Now, the reason I picked this up was because I got some fabric recently and I thought it might match. And I think it blends. I don't know. I think it would work. I don't think it's an exact match, but that's why I picked this up. Plus, I love stripes. You know, stripes go with a lot of things. So yeah, I just thought, well, it's not expensive. I don't know what I should stretch it out, see how much is there. It's probably, yeah, it's probably about two yards because it's double. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this didn't have a price on it, but she gave it to me for 99 cents because that was the same price as the other one. Ah, here it is more of that thistle kind of looking fabric. Now this is a full flat and there's the border that I was looking at. That's so pretty. You know, that just might be pretty as a dress with a border at the bottom. I don't know if it would look like a sheet. It might, it might. You know what? I might not care. So there's that one. Whoop. <laughs> I'm getting not very good at throwing these things, am I? And this one is also a full flat, so same thing. Uh, and I forget how much fabric is in a full sheet. I want to say about two yards and change, something like that. This is this is fabric, and I was really thrilled that I found this because I think it's rayon. I think it's it's like a viscose. I'm pretty sure it is, and. It's really gorgeous. See how beautiful that is? I'm looking for the tag. I just heard it. Ah, here it is. It was $2.99. And it's, clearly it's 60 wide. Wait, where's the selvage? Here's the selvage. So it's, <laughs> it's a fair amount of fabric. There's about one yard, about two yards, uh, probably three yards there. Rayon. Oh my gosh, you guys. Rayon fabric. I love rayon. This feels like it might have some polyester in it because I don't know, it's not, I guess, no, maybe it is rayon because it is it is wrinkling, so I don't know. I'm not sure how you tell, but it feels good to me, so I'm just gonna go with that, so. Okay, that was Salvation Army. Okay, so you know how I said that those uh, sheer curtains were probably not gonna be long enough? Well, I found two scarves window scarves. These are, uh, let's see, 164 wide. Oh, here we go. 168 wide by 64 high. And the thing about a, a window scarf, window scarves are uh, just a long piece of fabric that you can artfully drape over top of your window or over top of a curtain rod somehow. So I just thought, oh, that's yardage that I can use as a border for the bottom of the curtains that aren't long enough. So I could either do it at the top or at the bottom. So yeah, these were two twenty-five dollars each. So what a deal. What a deal. I found this. Uh, this is a flat sheet. It was $3. It's still in the packaging. Uh, let me see if I can pull it out. I liked the colors in it. It is microfiber. It says it's microfiber. And to be honest, I was looking for some kind of a print I could use for the front of my cubby boxes that hold things underneath my pressing station. So I like this. I like this a lot. Kind of a cool print. Ooh, that's, it's kind of like, oh wow, wouldn't that be, make a great dress with a border or a skirt with a border at the bottom? I really like this. This is cool. I don't, I, at the top, the hem at the top isn't special at all. It's just folded over, but this is, oh man. I like this. Ooh, and it has things on it. It says things. And they're in French, I think. Or are they more than one language? No, I think it's all French. Really pretty. I didn't realize it had writing on it. That's cool. Oh, this is going to be some kind of a tropical dress and I, I'm really pretty sure I'm gonna use that border because why not? Oh, isn't that cool? Wow. So that was, oh no, and I got a, <laughs> I got a dress too because I saw it and it made me think of Trish at Pinky's Farm and I thought this is the kind of dress she would wear. 
and it just looked so cute and it's a bright color and I thought it's a little t-shirt dress kind of thing that I could throw on you know on in the morning and drink coffee so yeah so there's that and lastly I went over to their craft section and I found this little bag of thread it was a dollar 25 and it's just old spools wooden spools of thread the wooden spools actually is the reason I got it because I thought these are so great if you want uh like, I don't know, if you want to decorate with them or do something, pattern weights with them or something like that. There's a green, there's a kind of chartreuse color, there's a blue and a black and a beige and another green. So yeah, I have some thread spools like this and they're obviously they're vintage. Uh, they don't say how much they cost, but it is mercerized, probably cotton. I don't know, this one looks like um, rayon but I don't think it is. I think it's just cotton. Anyway, $1.25. I didn't think that was too bad for uh, vintage antique, maybe. I think you could call these antiques because they were probably popular in the 1950s. Yeah. Then I went to one of the pet rescue places. I'm walking around and I'm not finding really much of anything. And then I come over to the craft section and they've got fabric, fabric in rolls kind of like they have at the Scrap Exchange in Durham, North Carolina. So I'm rooting through and I see this. I couldn't believe it. This um, is, it says three and a half yards, 40 inches wide. So it's like 45 wide, um, it, similar to that. And um, I was stunned. It has $8.99 on it. But I didn't realize, I took it up to the to the register thinking that's not bad for three and a half yards. And then she tells me it's half off. So I got three and a half yards of this fabric for $4.79 total with tax. But let me show it to you. It's very much like the prints that you can find now at Joann's that are, I think they're made by Simplicity Patterns maybe. I'm not sure, but they've got like, illustrations from patterns all over them and I just love this isn't this great oh for 479 oh my gosh I wonder if it says anything on the selvage if there's anything printed I don't see anything but that doesn't mean there's nothing there so I don't know where this would have come from oh it does say simplicity pattern company and uh, it doesn't say anything about Joann's, although I know that they sell it. So maybe, I don't know, this could have come from anywhere. There's where it says simplicity. So what a find, what a find, what a steal of a deal. So yeah, that was kind of the find of the day. And then I went over to Hobby Lobby because I needed, uh, well, they're probably in here. I broke a bracelet and it's a sterling silver bracelet that I often wear on my, I don't often, I always wear it on my arm. And the clasp broke. So I knew they had sterling silver findings. So I got those to repair that bracelet. But then I walked over and I had remembered from my trip earlier last week that uh, fabric was on sale for 40% off. And I knew they had a couple of Ditsy prints that I really liked and I thought, okay, it's 40% off. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. So I got three yards of each of these. So yeah, they just remind me of what I used to make back in, you know, like the 1980s, 1990s. I loved these kinds of prints for sundresses, just little girls' dresses, all kinds of dresses. Oh, just, oh, I love this so much. It's a floral, pink and purple and a little bit of green. So yeah, there's the print and three yards. And this is actually the same thing. It's just the purple colorway. So yeah, oh, so pretty. That's so interesting to me when I hold it back like this, it's like there are, there's a design and there probably is a pattern to the print, but I just love it. So pretty. Oh, what am I going to make with these? I don't even know. I have so many sundresses. I'm sure I can come up with something. It'll be beautiful. It will be amazing. So now I have to find places to put all that stuff. 
I need to go wash my sheets and uh, let's see, I guess the sheets were the only linens that I got. And I washed those three times. I always wash them in hot water with detergent, but I all also add, the first time I add a little bit of bleach, not enough to bleach it out, but just kill things that are alive in it. And the second time I use OxyClean, which is an oxygen based kind of the same as bleach. And uh, then the third time I just wash, the kind of it's kind of a wash and rinse sort of thing. So, you know, you just gotta keep at it. The thrifting thing, it's always a good thing to go because you just never are sure what kind of treasures you're gonna find. So that's it for now for me. I will see you next time if you'd like to see any of my fabric hauls from times past. <laughs> I have a playlist, it's right over here. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and be good and be gods.